Thanks again for joining me. If you remember in yesterday's video, I showed you how to add a save to Facebook button to your website. Today, I'll be showing you how to add another Facebook button to your website that'll allow people who come to your site to share your page with their friends by clicking on a send button. So without any delay, let's get started and take a look at how we can do that. Let me first delete that saved Facebook button that we covered in yesterday's video. And if you don't know about that, you can go back and look at that on our YouTube channel. Here at developers.facebook slash docs slash plugins slash send button, you can get that by clicking here. And if you don't remember that URL, just type in uh, Facebook plugins into Google and you should be able to find this page and make sure you click on the send button. Next, go down here to the send button configurator and enter the URL for the page that you would like to have people send when they click on the button. Next, click Get Code, and you can see a little preview of the button there. I don't know if you notice that, but that's what your button will look like that you're adding to the page. So click Get Code, and then copy this code to your clipboard by selecting it and choosing Copy. Move over to your Web Starts page editor. Click on Insert HTML Code. Paste the code in the field provided. Go back over to your Facebook page and get step three, which is another piece of code. So you want to select that as well. Copy it to your clipboard by right-clicking and choosing copy. Hit enter on your keyboard to create a new line and then paste that second snippet of code. And now you're ready to click OK and add that send button to your website. So here you can see that I've added the send button and it's on my page. I'm then just going to resize the area that that send button is contained within. And then I'm going to drag that send button up to my header because I want it to appear at the top of each of my pages because uh, anything that goes in the header will appear at the top of every page of your site in the same location. Now I'm ready to click save and when you click save, those changes will be saved and also published. Let's go ahead and click that out because I'm not ready to share my site on Facebook right now. Then let's take a look at the live website by clicking view site. And here you can see my send button is up here on my header. And when I click on it, let's see if I can get a better view of that. When I click on it, you can see it gives me the option to send to different ones of my friends. Now I have my screen resolution set a little narrow just to make a video, but you'll be able to see this whole thing on your screen. So let's just resize that a little bit. So there you can see uh, you can enter any one of your friends and you can put in a little message. And when you're ready, click send, and it will send them the URL to that page where you add the button. So if you're the webmaster for your site and you're looking for another way to get traffic to your website, you might want to consider not only the Save to Facebook button that we covered yesterday, but also the Send Facebook button that I showed you today. So once again, thanks for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you'd like to see even more videos on search engine optimization, internet marketing, and web design, click the watch more button here.